right here is the Gaumon PD1161, the smallest screen tablet I have ever used today. We're gonna give it a try, make a full painting on it, and I'm gonna tell you if this is a good tablet for you. What's up guys, Lucas here. I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for video games. And this channel is all about art and art related subjects. So if that's something that you like, consider subscribing. So here we have the Gaumon PD1161. It's a very small tablet, but one with a screen, which is something new that I have never seen in this price range. So let's let's get started. The first thing that struck me about this tablet is the grainy surface that it has. That is something I really like. Maybe there are some of you guys out there that like drawing on a on a glass screen. I don't know why, but <laughs> this feels for me and I think for a lot of people feels much nicer because it feels much more like paper. So props for that. The second pro about this tablet is the price. This tablet is right now 173 euros on Amazon.com or that is around $200 for you people back in America. And that is a very cheap tablet. It is actually the cheapest tablet that I have seen of a semi known brand that has a screen. So that is great. Third pro about this tablet that surprised me was that drivers worked at the first time and I have had the experience of installing several tablets of non Wacom brands and it is always a pain in the ass to get the, those tablets to work in your computer. You have to uninstall drivers, install them again, uh, restart the computer a thousand times and sometimes they don't get to work ever. And this one was actually a very pleasant experience to know that I just uninstalled the drivers of my Wacom right here and I installed these ones from Gaumon and it worked perfectly the first time. So that is another pro. Okay, so I don't want to make this video super long. I want to keep it short and, and condensed for you guys to not lose your time. So let's go to the next three pros. And those are first, uh, the express keys work. In the world of non very well known tablets, these guys might sometimes not work. I don't use them personally, but I know that a lot of people out there use the express keys a lot. So they work. It has great pressure sensitivity. I didn't have any problems, you know, no squiggly lines. That is a problem that the Wacom's can have a lot of times. Yeah, I could have control between thin and thick lines very easily. And last one, this tablet is very portable, but that of course can be a pro or a con. So with that, we pass to the cons and I already told you the first one and that is that it, this tablet is too small. This is an 11 inch screen, which is so small that I just couldn't fit all the Photoshop interface in there and draw comfortably. I know that a lot of people out there will say like, ah, you're so spoiled. Like, of course you draw big all the time, but I don't know, I'm used to that. I'm used to my iPad is bigger than this thing. It's 12 inches or 13 inches. This thing is 24. And for all of you that, that have been working on tablets that don't have a screen, probably your laptop is either 13 inches or 15 inches or maybe 17 inches because that is a, a more normal size for a, an artist to choose for his or her laptop. So this thing right here, 11 inches, is a bit too small for my taste to fit either Photoshop or Clip Studio or these programs, these softwares that have a lot of user inter interface around and you need to fit a lot of things in this little screen. By the way, guys, of course, I decided to make a painting to try this tablet and I painted this girl called Sita Avijan, so props to her for being the inspiration to make this painting. Third problem is that this tablet comes without a stand. I I had to grab the stands from one of the other tablets that I have just rolling around in here to be able to use it because something very important for a tablet and I don't know if you guys maybe that also sounds spoiled for you but you are better having your tablet perpendicular to your eyesight because if you draw with a tablet angled like this you will end up with drawings that are all wrong in perspective and once you you know like stand up or something like that see this thing from the front you are going to discover that the drawing didn't look as you were drawing it so very important these tablets need a stand because you're going to be using them on a desk not on your lap or anything else and i guess you can use the box or anything that you have around for that but i didn't like it so if that is important for you you know that. And there we go. We now enter the two biggest problems and maybe the big reason why I wouldn't buy this tablet. Those two problems are 
the parallax is too big. For the ones that don't know, a parallax is the distance between your pen and the cursor, the position of the cursor in your screen. And that depends on the thickness of the screen. There are some, the more pro the, the tablet, the thinner the glass and the screen are to generate less of a parallax effect. And you can modify this parallax effect if you calibrate your monitor and most of the drivers of the tablets offer the option for you to be able to calibrate that and diminish the effect of the parallax. But in this case, it didn't matter how I calibrated again and again and again, this thing never allowed me to have a less of a parallax. So whenever I went to the corners of the screen, this thing had an enormous parallax. I mean, enormous is like half a centimeter, but half a centimeter in an 11 inch screen screen is damn big and you need precision while drawing so mm, that is one of the very big deal breakers for me with this tablet and that takes me to the last point and that is the biggest thing my biggest gripe with this tablet and that is that it gets glitchy on the sides, especially here on the right side of the screen whenever you reach with the pen to that side the cursor got stuck or maybe you were dragging a layer to the trash can it lost sensitivity and then the layer went flying somewhere else and that is just not cool. For for you Photoshop users, uh, you know how much you rely on the right side of the screen, especially if you are right-handed. You have all the layers there, usually your brushes, the color selector, things like that. So you need that right side to work very well. That takes us to the conclusions and I wouldn't buy this tablet. This is a tablet that only fits one single person or one single type of, of consumer in the world and that is somebody that needs two things. One cannot go higher than $200 and needs a screen tablet. If you can allow yourself to have something that it's more than $200, buy a tablet that is a bit bigger because this is too small, way too small for a screen tablet. And the other option is maybe you don't need a screen tablet. You know, I was using a non-screen tablet, a, a super old tablet called the Wacom Bamboo Fun. I'm gonna put this uh, photo right here for you guys to see. That thing is old. That little tablet, non-screen tablet, took me all the way from my first digital drawing all the way Way to my first professional job so don't think that because the tablet doesn't have a screen it is not professional that you cannot draw with it you can get used to it you can do excellent job in a non-screen tablet if you need a screen tablet and two hundred dollars buy this tablet it is it is gonna work for you fine you're gonna be able to paint good things here's the painting that I did on this tablet for you guys to see that you can and there you go. I hope that this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Leave me a like if it was useful and of course subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh and before I forget a lot of you guys are not following me on my Instagram and this painting right here is gonna be on my Instagram finished and nice. It would mean the world to me if you guys go there and leave me a like and tell me if you like the painting and if you like the review. So that's it. Okay see you.